you mentioned the comorbidity as well with ADHD and binge eating. Mm -hmm. um, and list amphetamine is, um, uh, I know, FDA approved for, for binge eating. Absolutely. Um, would the, the mechanisms um, and, the, and the reasons for that be sort of similar um, hyperfrontality and the neurochemical deficits and binge eating disorder as well? It's interesting because uh, the literature on neurobiology of binge eating is not, not nearly as extensive as an ADHD. Mm -hmm. Nonetheless, there's an impulse-driven disorder. Mm. Patients with ADHD are often uh, impulsive drinking, mm. impulsive sexually, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. People with binge eating are impulsive eaters. Mm. And what they will do is have large volumes of highly carb-related food for very, very quickly. Mm -hmm. um, it's hugely shame-induced. And people will say, I feel ridiculous, but these cravings are huge. Um, it feels a lot when you're talking to them. And I've treated quite a few that it's often related. It has a very um, drug abuse almost feeling mm. where these people are fighting an urge that is overwhelming for them. Mm. And so uh, the neurobiology, by the, even by describing it mm. in terms of phenomenology, seems pretty similar. Right. And what you're really seeing is an, uh, a prefrontal drive to increase catecholamines forward. And there's some literature on glucose, high glucose rich foods, and drive towards impulsivity and raising dopamine, etc. Mm. Uh, these people are seeking uh, catecholamine based rewards. Mm. And while there isn't a ton of literature on hedonic tone in this area, it's not hard to see. Mm. So from a neurobiological standpoint, it seems like it's hypoprefrontality. It's that prefrontal cortex deficit that plays a part in this. Now there may be differences in terms of hypothalamic activity, et cetera, et cetera. People have looked at the insula, for example. Mm -hmm. But nonetheless, what we're looking at is a deficit in the ability to uh, choose reward processing as a way to go. Mm. And so these binge eaters are at high risk. Mm. And when you drive uh, catecholamines into the prefrontal cortex through stimulant like Lizix, amphetamine, or Vyvanse, what you're really doing is decreasing the cravings. Mm. Now traditionally people will go, well, is this about decreasing eating? And it's not necessarily. Mm. It's decreasing binges. Yeah. So people might be quite comfortably eating regular meals, but they're not eating those large volumes of carbs, bang, 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 bang where if you watch them, you'd be like, oh my God. Yeah.